How to pose and always look good in pictures. Watch this video until the end and you would know how to be photogenic. I have three different options what to do with the arms. It would look so different. Hello everyone, I am Daria Kosa, fashion photographer with more than 11 years of professional experience. I'm going to share with you an ultimate guide of sitting posing. If you haven't checked a fundamental of posing standing, you can check it on other video which was part one and today we are moving for the part two. First of all, you should understand the purpose of the photo shoot. Is it more business headshot or you doing more creative photo shoot? Or is it for social media and you should bring a cool posing with the vibrant mood? If you have already checked my video about standing posing and you feel already professional, after watching this video and starting doing sitting posing, you would feel that it's more convenient and comfortable when you're doing sitting posing and you would become even more professional model. If this kind of video you're interested in, please give me a like, hit subscribe button if you haven't yet and let's move forward. So first of all, you can see I have three different options of chair, stool, and it's all different height and also different mood for each chair. With the high stool, I would suggest not going straight, but always moving slightly to the angle, like having a beautiful, nice lane here. And not really like sitting there, but kind of leaning a little bit. And leaving one leg down on the floor. Other feet could go up there, and you could see with my legs, like it's going tippy toes, left leg and right leg. What it could be different if I just sit there? You could see it's kind of weird. My legs not long enough. But if you touch in the floor and this chair brings length to your legs, with the other leg, you're just creating more interesting shape. It could go with both legs up, which could also work depending on what kind of pose. But honestly, for the long legs, that's going to be my favorite one like this. Let me show you a couple more options what you could do with your legs on this kind of chair. Those two poses, it was towards the camera, but what about if you do slightly an angle? like for example like this side if you bring in the leg closest to the camera more straight your leg would look longer and bending other leg it's making more interesting shape towards the camera but if you switch your legs your legs will still look longer but right now it's making curvy your body right there which is good and making you look more feminine on the shot and again, don't forget about tippy toes. Always point your feet. It's making legs longer. About other things, what is important when you're doing sitting pose. But you should always thinking about that, like keeping your posture, shoulders back, chest out, arch your back. And always keep breathing in the shot. Try to be relaxed as much as possible. So we know already how to keep our legs and posture with the back, shoulders and chest. But again, what to do with the arms? It's kind of the same. You could put it in the pockets. It could also could go in the back pockets. It could go like smiling, looking that way, laughing. It could go again like playing with the hair, adjusting your hairstyle, or just like crossing your arms and resting it on the hip. The other option, which is really good, it just like this kind of chair allows you to lean back and also playing with your legs, like even bringing your feet a little bit up or going with more fun way. This kind of chair is going to be more like fashion and 
long legs idea. When we're moving for the lower chair, I would say it's more comfortable chair to sit in. What I really love about this chair, I would show you just in a bit. And if you already enjoyed watching this video, please give me a like and let's move forward. So first of all, this chair has a lot of different options and angles. Also because of this think right here and also you could create there like more like chill and rest in pose like just leaning there it could be towards the camera it could be profile it could be moving forward because it's lower chair it's easier to pose we would move a little bit deeper how to pose with this chair but first of all i'd like to continue the idea of the long legs if you just sit like this you can see your length of the leg starts right there where the toes is and it's finished kind of here but you could do better just with the pose and even without using any editing skills first of all i would suggest to cross your legs it already makes your leg longer. It's starting from the toes and finishing right here. It's already good. But if you bring your leg, which is staying on the floor, a little bit towards to the camera, it's making legs looking even longer. But if you bring your leg, which is crossed on this leg, up, it's going to create this line even more longer. And you could see the huge difference which we go from just crossed legs to this kind of pose and again to be honest with you it's also very dependent of the angle where your photographer is shooting if it's going from the lower angle or upper angle even the same pose would look different and again it's very important if you know what is the good pose is and what is the bad posing it would make any photograph much better and it will bring confidence in your shooting process and even from this pose when i'm sitting towards to the camera you could move slightly to an angle and it would create huge difference legs would look even longer this way but it's also creating more like feminine shape of the body and when you sit in slightly to an angle you could go even with one leg down like here or like this way or even playful before we move forward with rotation of this chair i wanted to show you a couple more posing if you're sitting towards to the camera the other my favorite pose to bring in your legs longer to the shot it's just like that pose is very nice when you're shooting a little bit from the up like that so you're leaving one leg just straight and then you bend the other leg just to making your body a little bit curvy it could be straight it also would look nice with long beautiful legs but again bending one leg it's making your body a little bit curvy and you could lean to the chair and going up with the hands like you're chilling enjoying your photo shoot but let's rotate this chair a little bit if you're going like more like this way it's kind of slightly to the angle almost profile but not we could do the same posing but it would look so different from different angle and even from very beginning when i was arching my back it could go with more dramatic and i would say it would be perfectly for boudoir shots like going like this To be honest with you, it's very hard to feel relaxed on this shot and arching your back when it hurts so much. <laughs> but again, with this pose, it's very nice, even like switching legs. Going with this leg, bend it, or this one. It would bring a little bit different vibe, so don't hesitate to try different legs, depending on outfit, lighting angles and sometimes it could go with this like better or this one so try all poses also you could go with 
this kind of rotation of the chair, but switching to the hip of your body. And again, it's kind of the same posing with the legs I'm doing. It's just a little bit different angle of me and it's making so huge difference. Also of the angle of the chair, it's making difference too. So I'm leaving one leg down and bending other leg. And always keep in mind, arch your back, chest out, shoulders back and keep breathing. Okay guys, could you imagine all those poses but having like nicer prepared outfit for the photo shoot? I think it's going to be fire. Also, with this kind of pose of the chair, it would be nice even sitting in the corner. You could even move in forward a little bit. But this pose would be perfect for boudoir photography, especially if you're switching an angle a little bit from the back because this pose is bringing all right there for a perfect shot. But what is also very important, I see a lot in my shots. It's easier when you're posing with the hands in this kind of pose, or every time when you have bonded knee, your hands could go very low, like lower than your knee. And it's look good for your hands, but honestly on the image, it would start looking like very, very long hands and short legs. If you leave your hands a little bit upper the knee, it would look very proportional on the shot. Your hands would look good and your legs would look perfect. Guys, do you remember I told you that this one, one of my favorite chair, and I will show you right now why. If you rotate chair this way, we could get more different posing. It's again towards the camera, but it's already look very different. It's more edgy, fashionable and more social media way. Could be a little bit less professional if you do full body because it's look more fun. It could be very professional if you crop in it like portrait. And I wanted to tell you that honestly, all the perfect beauty shot, it's always taken when model is sitting. Before we move to the portrait, I remembered one more nice pose. You could see there is some kind of similarness with the uh, shot which I did here, right? It was kind of the same pose, different chair, it looked different, but the idea is the same. What is so unique about sitting posing, especially in portrait photography? First of all, model is sitting and photographer could find a right angle where it's better to shut the portrait is it lower angle or is it upper angle or moving to the side but also when you're sitting it's easier to relax your shoulders feeling relaxed and for sure it's much easier to pose with the whole arm and hands so, for example, if I'm going with the jewelry campaign where I'm supposed to have a lot of hands in the shot, I would prefer a model sitting on this kind of chair or something like this. But for the very, very beauty shot, I would shoot this chair. You're not seeing this part, but model could just go like this. You see how is my whole body shifting when I'm going this way. I could go with the hand up right here, again, playing with the hair, like showing my earrings, pretending that I'm clipping it, or like showing the rings. And you see, it's very easy. My elbow is standing on the chair, it's resting. And I could just like go like fun, like playful. I could do it standing, but with my whole years of experience, I would say that 90% of people is doing it much better when they're sitting. So guys, we're going to do one more kind of chair. Honestly, it's Apple box, very like studio vibe, very industrial style, I would say. And then we're going to move to the most exciting part. And honestly, it's the most scariest part of the sitting posing, which is 
sitting just on the floor. Okay guys, we just decided a little bit update the apple bugs. I have three of them here. And it could be, yes, it could be apple boxes, but also you could imagine that it's like coffee table or just simple bench and it's a little bit more square area where you could sit. So we could bring a little bit more different posing right here. First of all, again, like similar, like sitting, crossing, you already know this pose. It's nicer when we have more square, we could play with the hands like this. We could move a little bit forward with the shoulders and just leave our hands resting on the bench. Also, what is nice when you have a little bit more square, but you're sitting, you could go with one leg up and the other could stay down and you could play with your hands again. It would be nice for portrait shots like this. It could be nice uh, like cropping upper the knee. I mean this leg and even full body but it also would make different if it's shooting from the lower angle more straight or upper angle and honestly i would say that right now we're discussing the poses what would be perfect for the street style photography or you could imagine beautiful city view behind me and you just like sitting like this and shooting with nice downtown view we could also adjust this pose just bend this knee a little bit. It could be also cool and nice posing. And you could go with this leg a little bit down like this. And it's again like totally different pose, right? And it would be also different if you're shooting right now slightly to the angle, but if I would go like more towards the camera. And again, remember, posing it's fun and a lot of nice moments so make sure to having a good time during your photo shoot from this pose we could also go like that way it could be more like profile shot right but it could be also a little bit like this way and it's also making the difference if my legs like going that way it would be also nice beautiful but it could go also like a little bit more towards the camera and again it depends what kind of angle we are shooting right but again as we discussed i'm showing you the whole posing of the whole body from your tippy toes right to the head but sitting posing it could be shot as a full length but it could be also like crop like three quarters of the body but it could also go in like portrait as we already discussed so Make sure to save this video and remember all those poses. It would be useful for all type of the photography. And as we discussed, like we could go three quarters or portrait. You could see we was moving forward, which was very nice pose and beautiful. But we could go from this way, but leaning back. Okay yeah, guys, I have a lot of more ideas about sitting posing. So if you already enjoyed watching this video, please give me a like, hit subscribe button if you haven't yet, and turn on notification to not miss upcoming videos about posing. And let's move on the floor. First posing I decided to do, it could be with something on the side. It could be different chair, table, whatever in our case it's apple box it would be very useful again for portrait photography your hand could rest in on the side you could again like playing just even one hand is just touching apple box other one it's holding the head i also think why sitting poses is always bringing the best portrait shots because model is comfortable photographers also feel comfortable like posing on the floor or just sitting in the chair, it's creating a relaxing atmosphere during the set. So as you can see, I decided to go more like this way. I bring in my legs, showing the length. It could be also like crop like this, but posing with the apple box. I could also go in a little bit more this way but again, looking towards the camera. And it's honestly a thousand ideas of playing with the sitting posing. 
and also what I feel like it's always so different if you switch a little bit legs just slightly changing an angle just changing angle with the shoulders or moving with different pose with the arms like remember I was going like this way or that but then I went a little bit up and stretched my arms a little bit but with the legs the main idea you see I could go like this way it could be also cute and nice but if I'm stretching one leg making it very long bending other one the same pose could be done even without apple box <laughs> you can see it's not really changed yeah my arms was going this way right now it's like leaning on the floor it's also worked it's kind of sitting almost going to laying down pose guys if you're interested about how to pose laying down let me know in the comments below and i will do another video about this with this pose it would look also different if i move my legs a little bit towards the camera so my legs looks longer right now so you can see this way it could work with the straight knee it could be a little bit bended like this it's making legs look very long I feel like this would be the best shot from the upper angle and you could again like switch if you're going like this that's going to be like more sexy boudoir shot but let's move for the beginning of sitting poses on the floor you could go with more dramatic way like this <laughs> Okay guys, I switched for the heels. So as you could see, it's honestly like more comfortable sitting like this on the heels. I'm not shaking anymore, so. And with this pose, you could go just profile, like dramatic shot, like thinking, like going with one hand down, looking towards the camera. It could go also like this way, like angle but it could be also shot towards the camera. I would call this pose kind of like Spider-Man. You could open one leg like this, bring other little bit forward and with the hand just like resting on the floor. Okay guys, couple more sitting poses. It could go like just crossing your feet, your arm just resting, you could touch your fingers, playing with the hair. I like kind of doing this shape. Again, it's very good for the portrait photography. As you could see, I could play easily with my hands, touching my face. But you could go also with this pose, just hands down, like kind of you're trying to tie your sneakers. From this pose, we could also go like this way. It's going to be a more like sexy vibe photo. <laughs> but it's also making nice shape of the legs. You could again like just crossing your hands, moving forward or even leaning back. And again, if you're switching towards the camera, it would look different. And again, if it's going upper angle with the camera, it would also look different and legs would look longer then also from this post very simple everyone can do that just going with the both legs a little bit forward i would suggest going slightly to the side like angle from the camera and moving forward again or leaning back both looks good and you could again plan like straight one leg or straight other leg as we discussed, like this way, it was going to be a little bit more curvy and feminine way, but it could be also very playful, just like crossing your legs, laughing, one hand out, like it was so fun. <laughs> Before I finish showing you posing, I have one more pose, which is perfect for all maternity shots. Just sitting on your knees and profile, but very strict with this pose what is very important to keep your toys down on the floor if you would go like this way it could look a little bit too much here but 
like this way, you're still creating a nice shape and your feet looks relaxed. So overall, you look relaxed on the shot too. But this pose is also beautiful, not just for maternity shoot, but it would be nice and fun like going like this way or like switching to that side, bring one leg towards to the camera and it's already a nice beautiful shot. And I easily just switch for that pose. I'm not sure if I already showed it to you, but my suggestion, sometimes when you start not thinking about photo shoot, you're usually creating the most beautiful and natural poses for yourself. And that would be beautiful photography as well. Again, if you're doing something on the knees, I would suggest also great shots for the boudoir photography or beach photography. Imagine you're in the water and you could just simply stand on your knees and you can move forward towards the camera or more leaning back and all of these options would be very nice. Just remember shifting your weight to one of the sides. Overall, with any posing, first of all, it's very important to understand the purpose of the photo shoot. As we discussed in the very beginning, there is different poses if you're doing maternity photo shoot, if you're doing business photography, is it boudoir, beach photography, or you're shooting for Instagram. All the types having different ideas of posing and different posing inspiration. That's very important to understand in the very beginning. Then, what is essential is lighting. Sometimes you could do a nice, beautiful pose, but it wouldn't go with the lighting. Or you have beautiful lighting from this way and you should like look in that way. Or you could go with the more dramatic lighting and go in with more dramatic pose. Or it could look weird if you're doing cute posing when it's dramatic lighting. So your pose should also be in the same mood with the lighting. Then, as we discussed, angles is very important. Angles from your side, but also from the side of the photographer. If the camera is going from the lower angle towards or upper angle, or are you going towards the camera or are you going more profile? That all makes difference. And we already also discussed it could be the same pose but slightly different or switching legs, a little bit different placement of the hands and it could tell totally different story. So feel free posing and trying different things during the set and having fun so you could get a great result. For varieties of posing, you could use different props and use environment around you, getting a right mood where you're shooting. And the most important that you should feel comfortable during the set and overall you should have natural expression with your pose, with your eyes and that would be telling on the photo. So make sure to have a lot of fun having a great time, trying different poses during the set. And remember, all of you are very beautiful. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, share it with your friends, and turn on notification to not miss upcoming videos. See you next week.